Today we're going to make chicken kalbi, which is kind of like a chicken stir-fry. It's made with deboned chicken and can be spicy or non-spicy. Let's start by boiling some water for our potatoes and cutting the potatoes into quarters. Some people prefer sweet potatoes. Add some salt to the water and cook your potatoes for about 5 minutes. We don't want them too soft because we're going to add them to the stir-fry. Here are some of the ingredients for our stir-fry. All the ingredients will be listed in the description. Okay, let's get started. First, let's add a third of a cup of chili flakes. Choose flakes that suit your heat preference. Then let's add two tablespoons of soy sauce, low sodium. Then let's add one teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of curry powder. Then about one to two teaspoons of tenjang or bean paste. 2 tablespoons of gochujang or chili paste. Some people like to add more salt or more sugar, but I find that the onions make it sweet enough. And finally, 2 to 3 cloves of garlic. Alright, let's mix everything together really well. This might look a little dry, but the cabbage releases a lot of water. Slice up a quarter head of cabbage and put it in your cooking pan with a bit of oil. Then slice up a whole medium-sized onion and put it on top of the cabbage. Take about 10 perilla leaves and slice them up. Perilla leaves, sometimes called sesame leaves or gennip, have a really unique taste. I believe they come from the same family as mint. I highly recommend you give them a try. Okay, let's add some rice cakes. They taste really good and they're really soft when they're cooked. Add about a pound and a half of deboned chicken. Add your sauce to the top of the chicken and then we're ready to cook. You'll need to cook this over a medium heat for about 10 minutes. Give it a stir every minute or so. You'll notice the color change as the vegetables reduce and release some of their sweetness. Okay, let's add our drained and boiled potatoes. At this point, it's almost cooked. This is where you can add some other things like cheese or noodles or even rice if you like. This whole dish should take about 10 minutes to cook. As this is a communal dish, we usually serve it as is in the frying pan. Alright, let's see how it tastes. Enjoy with your choice of vegetables.